All right. Good morning, Pomex viewers. All eight of you. We're gonna try Dickinson Bayou this morning. I'm new to this area, so we don't know what we're gonna run into. I gotta be very, very cautious cruising around these waters because I'm not very familiar with them. So uh, we're gonna start slow. Little top water. I saw some bait jumping by the bridge here, so let's see what let's see what we can find here. Beautiful day, calm winds. It's like 75 degrees this morning. It's supposed to get up to about a billion, but that's okay. That's Texas. That's Texas weather. You love it or you leave it. I'm going to go up that way more, up in the Dickinson Bayou, because uh, my cousin, Roger Flores, gave me a couple tips that there's some fish in them there hills. So we're going to find out today. But I thought I'd try this, uh, the launch area. Like I said, I saw some bait jumping, so figured I'd give it a shot. Let that sun come up a little bit because uh, Pomex is blind, man. 55 years old now and the eyes do not work as well as they used to. Now this top water hadn't attracted anything yet. One more cast, then we then we go on out a little bit. And they're everywhere. One more cast. We're after that tag red, folks. It's star season again, and uh, you know, it's a long shot, but you just never know. It's worth the 40, 50, 60 dollars that it costs to get in it. You just never know. Let's make a move. You know, I got this new Suzuki 150. And, uh, man, I, I'm in love with it. It's on right now, and you can't barely even hear it. Compared to my, uh, my Johnson I had, I mean, it was, it's night and day. So, some, you know, as I get to spots that I just want to hit really quick, give a couple minutes, I can leave it on and really not spook any fish because it's so quiet. I can hit that area without turning it off. And after my few casts, if nothing, if we can't produce anything there, I just get back in the cockpit and take off. Let's go. Uh, we pulled up in this little lagoon area. I see some birds, I see some bait. Again, I'm not familiar with this area, so it's all hit and miss from this point on out. Sometimes you just gotta throw your line out, man. 
and just uh, hope the fish gods are in your favor that day. I'm trying top water because look at this. It's, it's, it's ice cream. It's slick today, this morning. So, you know, you want to take advantage of that. And I love fishing top water. I mean, I don't catch as many on top water because, well, I don't know. Maybe my technique isn't the best. But uh, when I do catch them, they're fun. I mean, it's, it's probably one of the most fun ways to catch a fish is top water. You gotta catch him. This is the spot that I was told about by that little grass bed right there, that little grass out. I'm gonna fish here for a little while, so I will kill the engine. And take the top water and take my bottom. nice and calm this morning I'm surprised usually right in this area there's four or five kayakers at this time of the day today I got it to myself so I'm kind of happy about that I do like when there's a little water movement. I don't, this water is pretty still right now. But uh, man, it beats, it beats when it's windy though. When it's windy, it's hell on wheels out here. I mean, I don't know about out here in Dickinson Bayou, but in my regular spots, that wind just knocks the hell out of me. I think I got me little something something. Yeah. Oh no. <sighs> Man. Man. No words. No words. Just frustration. Good sign though, something was biting there. He was coming in like a flounder. Hmm, that's just frustrating. <laughs> I finally, it took me an hour, but I finally hooked up with something. And he's got some back on him. He's not little. He is not little. It took me about an hour and a half to finally, look how he's swimming. He's, he's, he's swimming like a little shark or something. He doesn't even know he's caught. I just hope that hook is set good. I don't want to goose him either. 
Now he knows. Now he knows. Now he knows. I gotta just keep that, keep that pressure on the line so that hook don't spit. He's flying around like a red right now. But you never can tell in salt water, man. I hope it's not a huge ass gaff top. Cause that's what he's swimming like now. Oh no, I saw a red tail. All right. It'd be nice if he had a tag on his back. He's a nice red too. Oh, come on boys. Uh oh. Get away from the motor. Get away from the motor. I gotta let him tire himself out a little bit. I don't wanna lose him. I'm gonna throw him back. But I just don't wanna lose him. These boys will wear you out. They will wear you out. Come on, baby. He's a good red. He's nice and healthy red. Whoa, 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 he got a couple more runs left in him. <laughs> my arm is, my arm is tired. Look at that beautiful boy. Are you ready? Are you ready, boy? Yeah, I think he's about ready. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh. I think I got him hooked pretty good. I think I got, whoa, maybe I don't. Where you at? Oh yeah, I got him. Oh. Let me get the, let me get the bogos. Let me get my grips. Man, I think he hooked. Hold on, baby. Hold on, brother. Hold on. Oh, hey, come on. You're not gonna give me this mess now, are you? <laughs> All right. Oh. All right, what's he looking like? That's a nice red, folks. No tag, though. He got one, two, two big spots on one side. Let's see what this guy measures. Well, he's bigger than my chest, so that's about 26 inches. Let me take this hook out. Hold on, buddy. He tore that bait up. He tore that bait up. Pour it up, come on. There you go. Oh. Oh, yeah, Texas Red. Beautiful, beautiful, buddy. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, let's put you back in the water. Let's put you back. Oh, let me adjust this camera just a little bit. Oh, I gotta get down on my knees and pray. Oh, cool, man. All right. Get the tail. He's going to jack. He's going to take off. Watch this. Oh, there we went. Good boy. Pomex is on the board, folks. Finally. Finally. Pomex. Feels good to catch a fish, folks. All right, folks. I found some birds. And usually, where there's birds, you find a couple of trout underneath them. Usually. Unless they dissipate like that. <laughs> then you got here a little late. But maybe there's a couple straggling trout down there, stragglers. 
late to the party. Late to the party, trout. caught that red earlier and boy i'm not lying i'm out of shape because my arm is dead right now it's just i'm not used to catching them big old reds like that and that red was and you know he really didn't put up a fight he just gave me about four three strong runs and it wore my left arm out One more cat, and then we go. Look at the industrial area. It's amazing how you can have such beauty, like right here, and then yuck, right there. But people gotta work, we gotta work. <laughs> gotta take the good, the bad, I guess. All right, folks, I'm gonna tell you my strategy, what I just did. <clears throat> I was cruising through this point and I saw the, a, a dolphin feeding. And I'm with the, under, the belief or the opinion that you get a dolphin feeding, that means there's fish there. A lot of people tell you, dolphin are there, no fish, they're gone. Well, I'm here to tell you that ain't true, man. Because they're the best fishermen in the water. And this red, gonna, this red, let me just see if he's got a tag on him. Uh-oh. Not under the boat, baby. Not under the boat. Gotta let him wear himself out. Let him wear himself out. Not under the boat. Get out of there. There's a shell under there. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, another good, another big red. That's number two, folks. Oh, that's number two for today. This one I'm gonna use the net because the other one wore me out. The other one wore me out. The other one wore me out. Got some people, some comments, some uh, fans on the shoreline. Let me see here. Oh, okay. So I can pick them up. He's bleeding. See how big he is. This one is 23 inches. Yeah, I'm gonna get him back in the water because he's been bleeding. Let me get him back. All right. Let me fix the camera. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, guy. I know you. You're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right. There he goes, folks. Number two. Number two. Nah. Well, I'm inside Moses Lake now, folks. Inside the floodgate. This is Moses Lake. I've only fished a couple times in the past, caught some small trout back when uh, we used a lot of live shrimp back then. But uh, I haven't been in a long, I haven't been here in a long time, so I'm gonna try this, 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 this shoreline right here. We used to catch flounder here, but they did a lot of construction. I don't know if y'all can see all that, that development back there, of subdivision looks a lot different out here than it used to but uh figure we give it a shot get away from the wind a little bit the wind picked up a little bit out in the bay so we're in here now and try and fish this flat area and uh, I'm hoping to get into some flounder we had those two reds earlier but that has been it that has been it not even a bump but uh we're going to continue another at least another 
it's 10 now so another hour hour and a half then uh then i gotta get out of this sun folks but uh let's hope to catch to get into some fish here shortly I'm looking for some flounder come on flounder I cut the camera off of myself on accident so i'm gonna get a few casts in here it'd be nice to uh catch a fish on camera or you know to set the hook on camera instead of waiting to like catch you know get hooked up and then turn the camera on but it's funny it seems like every when i do turn the camera off that's when <laughs> that's when i start getting some bites but uh let's see if we can let's see if we can get lucky here man this this this, this place looks ideal for where flounder would come up to feed rest and feed but like I said we'll give it a we'll give it a few we'll give it 30 40 minutes see what uh, see what we can find See what we can see. Uh oh, there you go. Oh, did I lose him? Nope, he's on, he's on, he's on. This gotta be a little trout. This gotta be a little trout. Oh, maybe not. This might be a flounder, folks. This might, whoa, no, it's probably a red. Yeah, it's a red. Number three, folks, number three today, man. This one's, this is the size that I would probably would take home if I was taking home reds. Those that are 24, 25, I don't take those big old boys home. These little 20s is what I, well, actually, now he's just a little smaller and I got him out of the water, but they're fun to catch. Let's see. Oh, he's not even 17. He looked bigger in the water. They, they usually do pretty. Look at that blue on that tail. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's so beautiful. Big, big old dot. Healthy. Thick. Thick boy. Gotta put him in the water. Put him back in the water. Take it easy, buddy. Three. Well, we got into the reds today, folks. All right, so that, that was the third red. It feels good to catch some reds. I mean, they're fun to catch. They're a fun game fish to catch. But uh, we're looking for the tagged red, of course, or some flounder. I will take flounder home. I will take flounder home. If I catch them, of course. Let's see, yeah. But it's been a it's been a productive day. It's 10:15. Can't complain, man. I can't complain, folks. Two solid solid reds, 24 to 26 inches. One little rat, 17 inches. You know, it hasn't uh, been a boring day, to say the least. And believe me, I've had a few boring days on the water lately. So this was uh, this decision to come out. To, and change up the spots that I fish it seems like it uh, was a success you know I'm happy I did that I'm happy I made that decision today sometimes you have to do that just move around go to areas you don't you're not familiar with and just be careful especially if you're on a boat just be careful because uh, you need to get you need to get yourself familiar with an area if you're going to be on a boat because there's a lot of ways to get hurt on the water, folks. And uh, I'm sure that's not a secret to anybody. But I'm going to fish a few more minutes out here. Uh, I want to thank y'all for tuning in, checking out this video. If you're not subscribed, if you're not one of the nine subscribers that I have, hit that link below, subscribe. And... Uh, Leave a comment. If uh, give me tips, give me tips. If you see that I'm doing something wrong out here, 
give me some tips man i'm open to constructive criticism big time so uh, anyway thanks for watching pull makes fishing i hope again like i said you enjoyed the video and uh, make sure to come back and visit me again i'll be trying to put some more content on this channel going forward pomex